Hey, good morning, chat, and happy Monday to you all. Fantastic to see everybody here. Welcome aboard to Tin Can. Took a look at this game over the weekend. A lot of you were telling me that the game was cool, and I, I like, found it on my own. I was like, oh, this looks cool. And then a bunch of people messaged me at the same time on Discord and stuff, and I was like, oh, yeah, I got to play this then. Uh, think about games like, for example, uh, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes with the whole management thing. Kind of like a puzzle game, kind of like an, a, an escape room simulator, but in space. Escaping from a, a destroyed, uh, like, refinery or some, something with, like, a, a core. This game features an escape pod, and I think also, like, a refinery, but we're going to try to work our way through today. There's the sandbox mode, so you can learn all the systems, things like um, cooling and heating and uh, oxygen and uh, scrubbers and electricity to manage and... Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of stuff. There's a, definitely a lot to it. Of course, trying to survive for a few minutes at a time, starting at 6 and 10 and 30, and, or 15 and 30 and stuff. So we'll see if we can get through it all. We're going to try to work together. So good to see you all here. Thanks again, everybody, for... Nope, there's no... No, no, no chat. There's no, there's no, there's not, there's not bears in this. No, 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 not at all, not at all. Anyway, welcome aboard. Game's available now on Steam, by the way. There's also a... Uh, 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 demo, if you want to give it a try. It's a short demo, but it it is also in VR, too, so you can play the demo in VR as well. Seems like a pretty good VR game. I don't really have or play VR, but it's it's pretty cool. So, good to see you all here. Alright, let's jump in, boys. Yo, and welcome to all the new members, everybody who was uh, able to grab a, a gifted membership or whatnot. I'm so happy for you all. It's so, it's so cool you guys were all able to get memberships so you don't spam bears, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, welcome aboard to William Chapman, who became a Raptor Egg earlier, too. Thank you, William, for smack and join and becoming a member. All right, uh, we're going to, since we have a lot of time here today to take a look at this game, we're going to go a little bit more slow and methodically. I'm going to go through the sandbox, and we're going to take a look at all the systems and try to learn. And there's so much in this game that, like, it's just a crash course. Like, we're going to forget things, we're going to screw up. It's just one of those games where it's like you're just kind of thrown in and expected to just try to, like, try to, try, try to just figure it out, you know what I mean? So, Welcome aboard the Tin Can. Game's meant to be an immersive and faithful space experience, survival experience. Tin Can requ uh, can require patience, practice, and a lot of a lot of deaths. Oh, for you to slowly understand the complexity of your escape pod and its systems. Taking some time to read your pod technical manual is obviously highly recommended. Everything here is simulated down to the, every individual component. Everything reacts organically to the events that you will encounter and your own decisions. In your old and rusty pod, the tech support cannot hear you scream. However, if you're feeling a bit lonely out there, feel free to join the community. Yeah, they have a Discord. That's pretty cool. Uh, Raptor has no VR, sad face? Yeah. Not at the moment. I, I don't know. For what I do, it's just a little harder to do VR. Because it's like... I don't know. Maybe one day. Alright, let's jump in. All right, so uh, we'll go to, uh, I think the tutorials is kind of like getting familiar with what you can do. Um, so we'll go to sandbox. Have a stroll in the pod and play with its systems. The only thing that can kill you here is yourself. All right, the Medusa Mark III is what we're looking for. So let's go in there. Wow. Well, I don't want that. Let's fix that. There we go. That'll be fine. You have three core games. You could, I could play this? What? What does that mean? Cool. Okay. So the upper left menu there that it says game monitor that's a menu you don't get to see while you're playing the game so that, that's basically like a debug mode to see you uh, to show you what everything's true number is some of the equipment's off a little bit so like for example um it'll say like uh oxygen 20 percent. that tells you exactly what it is
and here it says like 20 20.1 20 or whatnot like you get more precise measurements cool all right um let's go ahead and go through the manual it's gonna be boring but it's important is there a way to turn this off Uh, the monitor kind of gets in the way, but it's the flux capacitor that's broken, yeah. All right, so we've got our, our main generator, oxygen generator, CO2 scrubber, pressure stabilizer, temperature manager, light system, gravity generator, main computer, fast battery charger, airlock, uh, CO2 to O2 recycling station, and a repair station. So we got to manage all those systems. We also have a few panels to look at for information. So we got our valves panel, atomic pile temperature indicator, which I think is up in there, uh, pod atmosphere temperature indicator, which is here, um, breathability levels, which is there, that green and red bar, and then the atmospheric condition indicators, which is, I think, the atmo temp. Oh, these are power is also listed here for amps okay cool and I think now since we're in sandbox the system should be working normally but eventually um, we can set it so something can go wrong we can run a simulation however we want although I've done this before and I think the carbon dioxide scrubber eventually goes bad and you got to flip it around with the O2 basically you want your CO2 bottle to be empty and your O2 bottle to be full is what you want ideally of course this game has what we call budget cuts so safety is uh expensive now oh, there we'll grab it in the right hand all right so we got our crt monitor on off button buzzer alarm uh, data connector emergency batteries pump air filter power transform power connector high capacity power connector round crt monitor fuse high capacity Welcome. fuse so there's two different fuses processor and bottle atomic pile and high capacity transformer okay emerald kitty thanks for becoming a raptor egg welcome aboard dude thank you very much and again a big thanks to everybody who uh gifted all those memberships and such and allowed so many more people to become members and stuff that's awesome there's some uh, memes in the game too of course you got wilson over here wilson <laughs> And the little, uh, the little model of this. This is basically what we're in. This is our escape pod. Luckily, at the moment in the game, we don't have to do any like uh, navigation or anything like that at the moment. But I think they're still developing the game. All right, let's take a look at the uh, at the pile. So this is our power unit. And you can see all the different components here, like the uh, high capacity fuse. There's our CRT monitor. That's producing 16, between 15 and 16 uh, kilowatt hours of electricity at 92 degrees Celsius. And uh, we can die if we take this apart, so let's do it. Warning, ionizing radiation. Kind of funny how easy that is to like, it snaps in and out, yet it has like a bunch of bolts on it. <laughs> cool. So large power transformer uh, power, oh, large processor. Oh, so it's got some computer components in there for the uh, CRT monitor. So we've got... Uh, is that a power connector there? New member. Oh, anyway, we got the few... Oh, there it is. Large power connector, transformer, high-capacity fuse, monitor, buttons, and a buzzer and processor in there somewhere. And then this is the amperage where that's also uh, on display here yeah this game has vr yep jordan thanks for becoming a raptor egg guys don't forget to put green eyes in the chat as well members for our wonderful new members have joined us welcome aboard 
So we'll start from the top down. So that's that's our first thing to worry about. That's our power generator. And then there's also master and uh, master caution and master warnings that we have to worry about too. So basically caution and uh, and like red alert basically. Okay, so we've got emergency lights. So emergency lights are connected to a battery. That ru that system runs independently. Oh, I think my fries are done. So the battery says okay. So if we lose power, like if if the if the uh, if the, uh, if the uh, Oh, there we go. Hold on. This is easy. We just got to change the bottle. All right, so oxygen levels are falling. Our oxygen bottle is empty, so we just got to flip it out. And a game where you can hold more than one thing at a time. All right. Stand by to make sure that goes up to 20%. Breathability increasing. CO2 alert. Same deal. Bottle's full. Watch this, make sure it goes back down to, I think we want 1%. 1% CO2, I think. Something's not right. Oh, there it goes. The filter was dirty. Looks like it's somewhere between like one and three, the green. Okay. And then we'll, uh, so we want the CO2 bottle to be empty and we want the oxygen bottle to be full. So we'll use the converter. I think it was already on. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, where were we? Um, we were looking at the electronic system on the lighting. Okay, so the emergency lights operate separately on a battery with a fuse and a power transformer and a large battery. But it has a longer capacity. There must be different battery types. There's also storage here. So we've got things like battery storage, electrical storage, high capacity electrical storage, electronic storage, hydraulic storage, and display storage. I'm not sure what the hydraulics are for. Maybe they're for lowering the main generator or the gravity generator? You guys ever like fix a like a like a remote for the TV, like a remote control? By like just you take the batteries out or you, you wiggle the batteries around and then just magically it works for like another 45 days. It's like, oh, the batteries must be dead. You just go in there, you wiggle the batteries, boom, works for another 45 days. <laughs> All right. So we've got ourselves the, uh, and the, okay, so this is the main lighting. So power transformer, fuse, and is that a high capacity, uh, no, it's a standard fuse. So power transformer fuse, and is there a connector in there? Yeah, power connector, power transformer, and fuse. And obviously if we touch the power connector, we're going to die. Because that's literally directly connected to the uh, system. Let's see what we got in storage. Yeah, we got a battery. We've got a regular fuse. High capacity electrical storage, nothing. Now the game will give you different components based on the scenario too. And at the start of the game, 
there's like a little warehouse and you can randomly grab extra components too so like sometimes you're meant to fail the first mission if you don't know exactly what you need you'll get in there and you'll need like an extra battery and you just won't know that the first time you play so it's it's meant to kind of like be a little bit of a puzzle game too all right so electronic storage hydraulics like oh i think hydraulics are actually that looks like an air filter there for the co2 oh yeah so you can find a co2 filter there and then a pump too and the pump is for the CO2 scrubber there. So the so the oxygen oxygen system has a pump. The CO2 How system. How is it going? You heard that Phasmo is getting another update soon. Yo, Venomous Heart, thanks for the five. All right, dude. I have not played played Phasmophobia. You guys keep wanting me to play it, so I'm I'm I'll put it on the list. I'll, I'll play at some point. Thank you, dude, for the five. Appreciate that. Hashtag Venomous Heart in the chat. Thank you. Oh, and of course, the pressure system also has a pump and a... Oh, you can... oh, there's how you can see if it's dirty. Okay. So the darker the color is here, this is the filtration system. You clean it by just literally blowing on it. That's hilarious. It's like cleaning a Nintendo game. Jordan, thanks for the dollar, dude. Appreciate that. Okay, so we have a fuse, a pump, and a uh, power transformer, air filter, master caution lights, buzzer, maybe. A couple of things in there. So it looks like the setup for these three are somewhat similar. They're kind of similar. Like with their fuse and power connectors being on the left side. So these are pretty similar. Uh, Mr. Completely Random, thanks for the 14 months. Such a cool game. I agree, dude. I like this game. And thanks again, Jordan. Hashtag Jordan. You guys, you guys want to make a pit stop? Do we swing by a Wendy's? We'll go through the drive-thru. Okay, so that does it for most of this. This we can't interact with. This is just gauges. We've got oxygen, CO2. So CO2 needs to be close to 1 as possible or close to 0. And O2 needs to be around 20%. And then uh, N is for pressure at one bar. Is that nitrogen? Well, no, that matches this at 80%. Wait. Oh, and then below one bar, which is close here the pressure. Oh, can't see that. And then pod atmosphere temp, we want to keep that within the green lines. So we got our cooling and heating system here, which is connected to our liquid nitrogen bottle. So this is like another system that's kind of like this. So we've got oxygen, CO2, pressure, and then air conditioning. Or I, I, I guess we'll just call this life support. There's nitrogen can in here. Oh, yep, okay. There's nitrogen there as well. Which has to do with our pressure system right there. Okay, cool. Okay, so the uh, nitrogen... This kind of works the same. It's just the setup's a little different, but same stuff. Pump, power trans uh, transformer, large battery, data connector. That's for the uh, CRT monitor. Power connector fuse and then the bottle. Keeping us nice at uh, a good old 21 degrees Celsius. Cool. Is there anything behind the monitor? No. Jordan with the 10. Thank you, dude. Thank you very much for your support. Okay, so we've gone over all these systems. This system... This, this is a separate thing here. Your great raptor will always keep being a beacon to many gamers, Thank viewers, you, brother. and so many more. We all who watch or end up getting games you've played appreciate what you do. Thank you very much. Hashtag Jordan in the chat. Uh, the air we breathe is at 79% nitrogen. Okay. So that makes sense because that's at about 80. So that's close. 
This thing here is our rescue beacon, and we always need this thing to be... This is basically when we try to escape the pod, it's going to count down. So whether it's 6 minutes, 10 minutes, or 20 minutes, this thing always needs to be powered in order for the uh, timer to reach zero, and then you win. So if this ever loses power, the timer stops, like it pauses. So this always must be powered. So you can, you can give backup power to it via a battery, or it'll be powered via the main generator. But there's like a, a battery slot here. And then here, this circle is like a little timer. Like a little, a little, uh, kind of shape like this. We'll go in there. Yeah. And that'll give you the time. Okay, so we've gone over the lighting. CO2, nitrogen. Let's look at the main computer, which is going to be complicated as hell. Alright, so basically the main computer is just like an overview of all the systems telling you whether or not they're working or if there's an error. Or where the error is or what the error is. Otherwise, you gotta look it up in the book. There's our error codes, there's our components. So it looks like oxygen and uh, CO2 will kind of max out at the same time. What's the objective? Uh, just not to die to death. Right now we're just learning, so we're just looking at we're we're looking at the book. All right, let's go through all of the uh, let's let's try to go through all the things in the manual, and then we'll give it a try, um, and then we'll look at the main computer a little little bit. All right, let's go through the whole book. All right, chat, let's go ahead and turn to page zero of the Medusa-class space raft. Model TAW270NH2 pod technical manual, uh, updated in March of 2015, America. Table of contents, the values panel. Page four values panel, the atomic pile, temperature indicator, uh, ammeter, Hot atmosphere temperature indicator, breathability levels, atmosphere, atmospheric condition indicators. System list on page 8, main generator, oxygen generator, CO2 scrubber, pressure stabilizer, temperature manager, light systems, gravity generator, main computer, fast battery charger, airlock, CO2 to O2 recycling station, repair station. Components list, CRT monitor, on-off button, buzzer, alarm button, data connector, emergency batteries, pump, air filter, power transformer, uh, power connector, high capacity power connector, round CRT monitor, fuse, high capacity fuse, processor bottle, atomic pile, high capacity transformer. Oh boy, here we go. Now these are going to have to be ones that we try to remember, all of these table of contents. It's going to be hard, but maybe together we'll try to, we'll try to figure it out. Yo, Venomous Heart with another big O20, dude. Thank you very much, man. If you're going to Wendy's, then you'll need more money in case you're extra hungry. Wow, at this point, we almost have something for everybody in chat. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. And again, another big O shout out to everybody who is continuously dropping those gifted memberships. That's awesome, guys. Thank you very much. Well, it looks like we got a Master Caution on CO2 again. Oh, the, the filter. There we go. All right, where were we? All right, error codes, page 25. All right, now we're going to go over this. We're probably going to forget most of these, but these error codes are really important. But uh, we're, we're probably going to forget these. So uh, PB28, system low power. 
MAP-5 to high power system. Uh, two NOA on battery, KAO2 pod high CO2, AR22 dirty filter, 01JE low bar, AN93 high bar, uh, PN82 low oxy production, a 017H pod 2 low oxy, a TB65 2 high O2, a NA82 low pump, a ABT6 full bottle, POJ3 low bottle, BKEE empty bottle, o, a 02NE bad battery, a NLOF low battery, ONE4 bad electrical connection, zero a BEA bad power transformer. Uh, there's a code there for triple zero, but it or quadruple zero, but it doesn't say anything. Uh, MAAG is a bad buzzer. 01N2 is bad data. MPAA is a bad fuse. 017K is a bad caution alarm. PAN8 is a bad master alarm. JKL1 is a bad monitor. BZ67 is bad production. A TR22 is low gravity. TR23 is excess gravity. And B 9B2L is a bad switch. EY2B is bad filter. Okay. Values panel, we went over that. Uh, the control panel provides quick information about the status of your pod. It can function even with a total lack of power from the main generator and is damage proof. Okay, so no matter what, that thing will be on and accurate or close to being accurate. Atomic pile temperature indicator. The atomic pile temperature indicator displays the current temperature of the atomic pile, a.k.a. our, like, nuclear battery, basically. Uh, the red needle matches the current atmos uh, atomic pile temperature. The blue needle needs uh, shows you the ideal temperature for the atom atomic pile to provide the current ideal amount of power for the production systems. Yo, Daniel, thank you very much for the two, dude. Haven't played Hydroneer 2.0. Update is out. I have. I, I played 2.0 with uh, Thurston a couple of days ago, dude. Thank you very much for the for the two Hydroneer videos on the channel, my man. Good game. Uh, ammeter. The ammeter sh allows you to see how much power is being required to all active systems compared to how much is being produced by the main generator. The red needle indicates how much power is generated. The blue needle indicates how much power is required. Both need to be aligned for ideal power. Uh, hello, Raptor. Are you surviving? Are you managing your escape pod? Yeah, we're doing both right now. We're, we're just learning um, as much as we can. This game is kind of... I mean, you can you can go in and, and go in and like play and not know what you're doing and learn by dying to death, which is fun, because when you figure it out, you get so excited. But this time we're we got lots of time to read and go through stuff. But it's like we're just reading the rules of the game, so we know what we can interact with and how to interact with it. Pod atmosphere temperature indicator. The pod atmosphere temperature indicator indicates the current temperature aboard the pod. So that there is the same as that there. Or pretty close. Essentially, we want to keep it close to 21 degrees Celsius. Breathability levels. The breathability levels indicate how breathable the atmosphere currently is. If it drops below 70, act quickly to avoid loss of consciousness. The indicator takes into account the levels of oxygen, carbon dioxide, and pressure. Okay, so it's like survivability. Cool. Atmospheric condition indicators. The atmospheric condition indicators allow you to know how much oxygen, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen are present inside the pod atmosphere as well as the current pressure. Please be reminded that the best, the ideal levels at a pressure of one bar are as follows. Okay, so one bar is ideal. Oxygen 21%, carbon dioxide less than 6%, okay, and nitrogen, ugh, nitrogen 73 Oh boy, here we go. Systems list purposes and alert main generator uh, produces the required power necessary for the operation of the pod systems. The energy generated by the atomic pile is located at, at its center. The atomic pile produces heat, which then is transferred into energy by the generator. The hotter the pile is, the more energy it produces. 
The green bars indicate the amount of energy currently needed for all on online systems. Beware, it could take some time for the uh, atomic pile to heat up or cool down. Always make sure systems are properly equipped with power transformers and fuses to avoid damaging them with improper energy levels. The processor inside the uh, generator stabilizes the temperature to a proper level depending on the system's consumption. A damaged processor can stop the pile from being properly cooled. Oh. So the processor in the atomic pile is important. Warning, risk of severe radiation poisoning if the atomic pile is handled without proper safety equipment. Oh boy. Uh, atmospheric condition indicators. Oh wait, didn't we go over that? Okay, oxygen generator. Oxygen generator releases oxygen in the atmosphere from an oxygen bottle located in the panel. Green bars on the monitor indicate the ideal levels of oxygen in the current pressure. The required oxygen levels will vary depending on the atmospheric pressure. At the standard pressure of one bar, the ideal level is 20%. The higher the pressure, the lower the ideal level will be. For example, at 0.3 bar, the ideal oxygen level is 100%. Oh. So the lower the pressure, the higher we need for oxygen. Uh, Hell's Envy, thanks for the 10 months as a hatchling. Am I playing the new gas station Sim DLC tomorrow? We played it a little earlier in the week. Uh, there should be a live stream on it. I, I liked it. That's pretty cool. I hope you guys are excited for that one. The Ken Touch It DLC for Gas Station Simulator. Very nice. If we have some more time, we might play it tomorrow, but we got some new stuff to play tomorrow, including a DLC for uh, End Zone A World Apart called uh, Distant Places, I think. Uh, it's also important to note that the excessive amount of oxygen in the atmosphere can be a fire hazard and may cause hyperoxia. Check medical manual for more um, information. CO2 scrubber. CO2 scrubbers take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and prevent them from reaching a hazardous level. They're stored inside a bottle. Uh, the green bars of the monitor indicate the maximum level of carbon dioxide before poisoning based on the current pressure. The maximum levels of CO2 before uh, risking poisoning are around 6% at one bar pressure. Maximum levels will be lower if the pressure is higher. For information about carbon dioxide poisoning, check the medical manual. Pressure stabilizer. Pressure stabilizer maintains the internal atmospheric pressure of the pod as key at a key level of one bar, just like Earth, by injecting or withdrawing nitrogen into the air. Oh, okay, so that's a cycling system, so it can take or uh, it can either add or, or subtract. Pressure is a determining factor for breathability levels for both oxygen and carbon dioxide. Oh, so it's a multiplication. Interesting. So it either, it's like either a division or a multiplication of oxygen needed. Uh, what's the trajectory? Uh, our current heading is uh, tree fitty. Uh, it is also important to note that excessive pressure levels can compromise the structural integrity of the escape, escape pod. Oh, so if the pressure is too high, the, the pod will basically explode. All right, master caution on oxygen and... Oh, I want this one. That fixed it. All right, uh, Gary, thank you very much for becoming a raptor egg. All right, temperature manager. The temperature manager provides heat and cold Remember, to the pod welcome. to regulate atmospheric temperature. Okay, so that's this thingy. Uh, there. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. 
Okay, um, the green bars indicate the target temperature between 21 or 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Heat is produced from electricity, while cold is produced uh, thanks to... Oh, so we make heat from the generator. Interesting. Like they mentioned before, that does create heat to produce electricity. Yeah, Gary, welcome aboard. Thanks, guys, for the green eyes for him. Thank you very much. Um... While well, cold is produced thanks to liquid nitrogen bottle inside the system, it's important to note that the most of the pod heat is produced by the atomic pile, while space will slowly but naturally cool the pod. Ah, okay. What's up, Gary? How you doing, man? Welcome. Uh, lighting system. Light system of the escape pod are located inside the drawers. They allow for proper operation of the lights aboard the pod. Uh, they're divided into main lights and emergency lights. The emergency lights require a lot less power and are equipped with an emergency battery that will turn on immediately if the main lights are, cannot operate properly in a case of power loss, for example. Okay. Yeah, that fixed it. <laughs> Gravity Generator. The Gravity Generator uses a complex system of graviton fields in the grav floor to produce artificial gravity similar to what is experienced on Earth. Yes, you can go into zero gravity in this game. Uh, please note, once on battery, the system may lower its general consumption and gravity levels to maximize length of operation before running out of energy. Uh, what? The system may lower its general consumption Oh, I see. Okay. So gravity may be reduced, but not zero if you run on a battery. In case of insufficient power or failures of main processor, the gravity uh, might become unstable, either too low or too high. Is this game early access? I believe so, but there's tons of content from what I've seen so far. Let me go ahead and uh, test out the gravity maker. Let's try zero G's. So if you lose power, you have to use these handles to like kind of effectively crawl around. So this might give VR players a little advantage because you can literally just reach out. Like if, if there was a fire and you needed to go for the extinguisher, you're just going to float all around. So you got to like grab one of these and go like, ah, fire. And if you try to shoot the fire extinguisher without holding on to anything, you know what will happen. We <laughs> I think this thing's infinite. Yeah, make sure you hold on to something before you use that thing. Is that a, uh, well, that would probably be a, a cooler right there, but I guess we don't interact with that. Okay. We'll take a look at that a little bit later. Yeah, it's basically a jetpack. That's right. Okay, where were we? Well, let's check the, uh... That's close. Okay, um, main computer. The main computer displays a general status of all systems in the pod and provides understandable errors on each system monitor. Without the main computer, error codes in each system will require you to check on the uh, manual error codes to understand their meaning, right? So if we, let's try to mess something up on purpose so we get an error code. Let's say, uh, Yeah, so now the pump has nothing to pump, so... But since the computer's connected, it immediately tells you what it is. So let's turn that off and try this. There you go. Then it gives you a, just an error code, NA82. So then you gotta look that up in the book. So it's like, what is NA82? And then you gotta go like, ah. Uh... And you gotta look through the book. All right, let's 
keep studying. <laughs> System access to boot. That's cool. After playing this game, all I can tell you is I want to I want to uh, watch uh, Apollo 13 again. That's a really good movie. You want me to open the door? Why? What's out there? Monsters? Wait. Relax, oxygen. Jeez, you're not going anywhere. Calm down. Oxygen trying to escape from me. All right, uh, let's see. Temperature manager. The temperature manager. Oh, we read that, didn't we? Yep. Light system. We read that. Go on to the CO2 scrubber. CO2 scrubber takes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to prevent it from reaching hazardous levels. Wait, didn't we go through all that? We did. So we're on to the main computer. Fast battery charger. Fast battery charger allows you to recharge a battery very quickly. Fast battery charger draws a very high amount of power and will therefore lower power of other systems until the atomic pile can adjust for consumption. Uh, unprotected systems can be overloaded when removing the battery. Okay. Airlock. The airlock is the main access door of the escape pod. To open it, to open if you need to make sure you are docked properly. Wait, what? Oh, to open it, you need to make sure you're docked properly. And then to pull and turn the handle to unlock. Once unlocked, you can simply pull the door towards the inside of the pod. Uh, opening the airlock in space will result in immediate loss of pressure and could cause hypoxia and then death. Yeah, bad, bad idea. Okay, CO2 to O2 recycling station. CO2 to O2 recycling station allows you to replenish an empty bottle of oxygen from a full carbon dioxide bottle. By transferring the carbon dioxide into oxygen, uh, note the process is vital for your oxygen reserves to last. Yeah, that's probably one of the most important stations, and they mostly make you do without it. <laughs> repair station. The repair station allows to repair damaged components. When possible, it also allows you to dismantle a component for spare parts. Oh. By placing one inside and uh, pressing the dismantle button. That's interesting. To fix or dismantle something in the station, it must be in working order and have enough power, and the user must have enough spare parts. The integrated screen display of the amount of... Oh, it displays the amount of parts required compared to how many of them the user ha ha <clears throat> has in his possession. Repair speed depends on the complexity of the component and the condition of the repair station. Oh, great. That's this thingy here. So we can either make things or repair things here. So if we wanted to take out a... So we can either dismantle or repair things. Okay. Interesting. That one's going to be complicated. All right, then the component list. Hold on, we got a master caution. Those filters suck. They fill up in like 10 seconds. Yeah, we're good. All right, so we got a CRT monitor. Uh, the component is a screen allowing the display of information from different pod systems. Channels can be adjusted to access different pages of information. The more damaged the monitor is, the more the screen will tend to shut down intermittently. On-off button. 
On off button is a simple switch used to turn on or off a system, sometimes necessary to push it twice to restore a system. Mm. The more a button is damaged, the more it will tend to fail when pressed. Ooh, that's good information. Buzzer. The buzzer is a simple sound. What does it sound like? Oh. Uh, it's a simple sound alarm system. Uh, its tone is different for each system. The buzzer is triggered when a system encounters an error or if your laundry is done. Uh, the more buzzer is damaged, the more it will tend to be triggered for no reason or not turn on when needed. Oh, great. So not only can systems fail, but components can fail too. Awesome. Alarm button, master caution, and master warning. Just like the buzzer, alarm buttons will turn on in case of a failure of a, inside of a system. There's small lights matching error signals inside of a system. Pressing them will turn the alarm off if the problem has been resolved. The more an alarm is damaged, the more it will tend to trigger for no reason or not turn on when needed. Great. So does the whole game take a pla place inside the pod? No. Um, we can do a little bit on a station before we run into this escape pod. There's like a 60 second countdown while a uh, like a space station is on fire and we can grab components and like throw them in here and then cl close the door. And so then you can grab things randomly right now. A lot of the things that we see inside the pod, we're not going to get. There's been like severe budget cuts for this company. So sometimes we'll come into the pod and like literally uh, like the whole co computer will just be missing. And then we got to go through the book and, and uh, do things. So. We'll see more of the game in a minute. Right now, we're just in sandbox mode, and we're kind of just... We're doing the boring part. We're going through the book, but this may be boring, but this is kind of like, you know... You can go. You can definitely go into the game and brute force it. That's going to be a lot of fun, but... Um, we're going to try to go for a little bit more... Uh, and just showing you guys what's in here, I guess, you know? Everybody wants to know, so... Data connector. The data connector allows for the transfer of information. It's how the systems can display their status and communicate with the main computer. Okay, so if they don't have a data connector, they can't display on the main computer. Beware. Corrupted data may push a system into abnormal behaviors. The more data, the more a data connector is damaged, the more data transmitted will tend to be unreadable or wrong. Okay, so that might be why we need to go here for a repair. <clears throat> Interesting. So hold on, let's try this. No data offline. Okay, that makes sense. Now wait, can I actually turn the system off from this? No, that's just a monitor. Okay. Alright, let's go on to this. Raptor, if you use the middle mouse scroll wheel, it does stuff. It's true. I wonder if it lets us walk faster. Nope. More games need that feature. Emergency batteries. Now, there's two different types of batteries. Bat L and Bat S. So large and small. Uh, emergency batteries allow for the storage of energy. Systems will automatically draw power from their batteries if they don't receive enough power from the main generator. Okay. So they can, so not only do they can use a battery completely for power, but also if they're not getting enough power, they can use a battery to get all the rest of the power they need. So they can use both. Batteries uh, can be recharged on the fast battery charger. The more batteries damaged, the less it will be able to store power. Great. Pump. Pumps transfer resources from bottles to other components. A damaged pump will tend to send less resources than normal. Air filter. The air filter takes or sends resources from the pod atmosphere. Air filters need to be cleaned on a regular basis. Failures. The more an air filter is damaged or dirty, the more it will tend to have a reduced flow. Power transformer. Power transformer protects systems from power overlord. Overlord, yes. Overload. Beware. The power transformers will heat up when exposed to excessive power and might get damaged after a certain amount of time. If too damaged, a power transformer will stop transmitting power. It looks like none of the components have a risk for fire. The only risk of fire I read about so far was from the uh, oxygen levels being too high. Uh, if too damaged, it'll stop transmitting power. Power connector. The connector transmits power from the main generator to the components of a system. The more damaged, 
Uh, the more power connector is damaged, the more it'll tend to deliver unstable or insufficient power. We can actually get electrocuted in this game, too, by touching those if the power is on. High capacity power connector. This connector works similarly to the small one, but allows for higher power levels. The more damaged, the more it'll tend to deliver unstable or insufficient power. Round CRT monitor. The small display system for simple information when a larger one could be too cumbersome. The more damage, the more it'll tend to turn off. Fuse. Fuses are simple electronic components that'll turn systems off if the power they receive is above a certain threshold. Yeah, it's a protection system, basically. Uh, the more damage to fuses, the more likely it'll trigger below or above original threshold. High capacity fuse. The fuse works similarly to the small one, but allows for higher power levels. The more damage, to the more likely it'll trigger above or below. Processor. Processors allow for uh, treatment and analysis of data in complex systems that require a semi-intelligent control. Looks like there's a large and small model. Available in two models if the size of the processor, the size of the processor will affect its speed of and data processing abilities. The more a processor is damaged, the more it'll tend to cause abnormal behavior. Okay. Bottle. Bottle allows for store of resources such as oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide. Atomic pile. The atomic pile is the most vital, but also the most dangerous component inside the escape pod. The atomic pile provides energy thanks to a fission reactor, a reaction of uranium-235. Controlled by the main generator processor, the atomic pile produces heat that is then transferred into energy. The higher the temperature, the more energy is produced. Even though the atomic pile was made to withstand many things, it can ultimately sustain damaged. damage. When damaged, the pile will tend to provide more unstable power and produce more radiation and than the protective shield can absorb. Uh-oh. Warning. Do not disassemble the pile shields without proper equipment. Oh, risk severe, radi uh, over severe radiation. Well, we already did that, so we're dead. High capacity transformer. This transformer works similarly to the small one, but allows for higher power levels. Wait, where's the... Oh. You'd think the power transformer detail would be next to the other one. But I guess they put it after the reactor. Alright, error codes. So we kind of went through that. Hold on a second. Master caution. Now imagine doing all this with the lights going on and off, you know, stuff going on around you, the pod shaking, there's a timer going, chat's complaining, are we there yet? Are we there yet? No! No, we're not there yet. Shut up! You know, <laughs> it's a much different scenario when you don't have uh, time. All right, error codes, we kind of went over those. But I guess we'll go through them briefly. Uh, code PB28, low system power, not enough energy provided to the system. I guess we can, uh, we'll come to the book when we're in a scenario. Can we take the little toy and disassemble it for parts? Actually, that's a very good question. Uh, we cannot. I don't know why there's a cassette player here either. I think it's just for... I think there, there's like a little bunk here, like a little bed. I think it's just... Like there's stuff here, like canned food. You can't really do anything with it. It's just kind of like... I think it's just to mess around with. Well, there's all these things, but we can't really do anything with it. Those are just for like set dressing, I guess, you know. Uh, where were we? Oh, yeah. Star Citizen. We'll be doing that. All right, let's go through the error codes, and then we'll be done. Hold on. I wonder if in the future they'll actually make it so you have to survive, like, multiple days or something like that, and, like, actually eat and drink water. I would assume these cans probably have enough 
There might be a food in there that provides food and water. Like, maybe inside the can there'll be, like, a packet of, like, food, and then maybe there'll be, like, a little thing to drink water. Maybe the can's just to protect it. All right, anyway, PB28. All right, chat, so we got to try to remember as many of these as we can, but there's so many that we're just going to forget. Like, even with hundreds of you watching, it's like, this is going to happen. All right, PB28, low system power. Not enough energy provided to the system. Causes and uh, probable consequences. Power connector is not functioning properly. The main generator is not providing enough power. MAP5, too high power system. Uh, description, too much energy in the system. Causes and uh, power, well, we'll skip that. The power transformer is missing or is not functioning properly. Fuse is not working properly. Main generator is providing too much power. Uh, two NOA on battery. System is at least partially on battery. Power received by the system is too low. A KAO2, production high CO2. CO2 levels in the pot atmosphere are too high. Causes full bottle. Pump is not working properly. Air filter is not working properly. A power received is insufficient. AR22, dirty filter. Uh, air filter. Cosmonauts complain your air filter is too dirty. Air filter is dirty and needs to be cleaned. Causes air filter is dirty and needs to be cleaned. System won't work properly until filter is clean. So AR22 is literally just clean filter. Okay. 01JE, low bar. Atmospheric pressure is too low. Causes empty bottle. Pump not functioning. Air filter not functioning. Power received is insufficient. Data connector is not working properly. AN93, high bar. Atmospheric pressure too high. Full bottle. Uh, pump not working, air filter not working, insufficient power, uh, connector not working. BN28, low oxy production. Oxygen production is too low. Causes an uh, empty bottle, pump not functioning, air filter not functioning, power received is insufficient. Uh, pod too low oxy. Oxygen levels are too low. Oxygen generator is not functioning. There's an air leak in the pod or atmospheric pressure is too low. Mm. TB65, too low O2. Oxygen levels are too high. Or sorry, too high O2. Oxygen generator is not working properly. Oxygen is too high. Um, NA82, low pump. Pump is not working properly. Not enough power, damage pump, empty bottle, air filter, dirty. ABT6, full bottle. Bottle is full. The bottle is full and can no longer receive additional resources. POJ3, low bottle. Bottle is running low. Bottle is running out of its resources. That's that's a master caution then. BKE, empty bottle. Bottle is empty. Bottle is empty. System cannot function anymore. 02NE, bad bat. Damaged battery. Battery will have smaller capac storage capacity. N, oh, sorry, 9 LOF, low bat. Battery is running low. Power being delivered to the system is insufficient. System will create a, s will cease to function properly once battery is empty. I need more coffee. Coffee is too low. All right, there we go. We got to get that system working. Perfect. 0NE4, bad power con. Ba uh, power connector is damaged, now delivers insufficient power to the system. Yeah, sometimes we're probably just going to have to make do and just try to survive with that. 0BEA, uh, bad power trans. Uh, power transformer is damaged. No longer producing system... Oh, protecting systems correctly from power surges. Yeah, so it can't protect against the power transfer anymore okay code triple z oh wait a minute this is the qu the quad zero that i saw before monitor is off on off button is in the off position fuse is stopping the system from powering up power is received power received by the system is too low for the monitor to turn on or monitor is broken interesting maag bad buzz damage buzzer buzzer might trigger unexpectedly or fail to trigger when needed 01N2 bad data. Data connector is damaged. Data being transmitted might be wrong. Systems may produce or absorb wrong amount of resources. MPAA bad fuse. The fuse is no longer functioning properly and might trigger with, uh, without reason or no trigger when needed. 
Steppenwolf, thanks for the five, dude. Hashtag Steppenwolf in chat. Thank you very much for the support. 017K, bad caution alarm. Master caution is damaged. Button is damaged and might not trigger when needed or trigger without reason. PAN8, bad master alarm. Master alarm is damaged. Button is damaged and might not trigger when needed or without reason. Uh, JKL1, bad monitor. The screen is damaged and flashes. Ooh, that's interesting. Interesting. Uh, BZ67, bad proc. Processor is not working, fu uh, functioning properly. Processor is damaged. Power receive is insufficient. Processor is mi uh, missing. Code TR22, low grav, too low gravity. Power is insufficient. Processor is not working properly. Processor is missing. TR23, excessive grav, too high a gravity. Processor is not functioning or power is too high. Yo, Aquain Bay, thanks for the five, dude. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. I think this is the last one. Aquain Bay hashtag. 9B2L bad switch. On off button is damaged. Button is damaged and might not trigger when needed or trigger without reason. TY2B bad filter. Air filter is damaged. Air filter is damaged. Oh, so there's one for damage and one for. Uh, one for damage and one for it being dirty. All right, well, that does it for the book, folks. More coffee is needed, my lord. Air filter was dirty. All right, chat. I think we can do a scenario, but before we leave, we should probably die. Which way do you... Which way should we... Uh, which way you want to see us die? We could open the pod door. We could uh, touch the nuclear reactor. We could electrocute. Or we could just die of boredom. <laughs> what do you guys want to see? Open door? I'm seeing a lot of open door. Okay. Fly into the sun. Unfortunately, there's no navigation systems yet in the game, but that would be cool if they like let us actually do like a spaceship. That'd be cool. Lick the uranium. You want to go outside? Okay, let's see what's outside. Looks like there's a lot of space out there, so let's go explore. Okay, bye. Oh, we can't go out? Oh. oh I guess it's just going to be uh, no oxygen then. Literally unplayable. Looks like the door auto shuts. Right, let's just see if we can do everything we can. Alright, let's hold the uh, nuclear thingy in our hand. Let's keep the door open and let's touch something electric. Oh, wait. That's not going to die. That's not going to die to death. The nuclear reactor is removed. Cause of death, hypoxia. Too much CO2 or not enough O2. Oh, darn, chat. We died. Darn it. Oh, damn. Oh. How did we fail in the, in the sandbox mode? How did we do that? We suck. All right, let's just do the tutorial for fun, and then we'll, uh, and then we'll get into the rescues. So there's rescues. I've only done the first two. I haven't beaten the third one yet. They want us to do 6, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 minutes. Each of these have a different thing that goes wrong, too. So it's like it's different each time and longer each time. And then there's challenges like do everything, but you only have one button. Probably everything is on fire. Each of these are just like extra challenges. That's fun. Actually, there's a whole, there's a relay station, too. I didn't realize there's like a station you can go to as well. Let's do the tutorial, then take a quick tour of the station, then let's go do a, a rescue mission. Oh wait, there's actually a tutorial for all these different things? Huh. 
We may as well. Uh, learn the fundamentals of Tin Can before exploring the pod further on your own. We'll go through everything so that way we can, we can say we tried to at least learn everything there is to know. Yeah, essentially... Hey, Jerry, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Could you do me a favor? I was supposed to do the maintenance of one of our old Medusa escape pod, but I'm stuck in the engine room fixing our damn reactor. In memory of astronauts who perished in the pod too soon. These are probably Kickstarter backers or something. So when the game begins, um, basically this whole area is on fire and you get like 60 seconds to run into each of these warehouse rooms. Some of these have like electronics, uh, hydraulics, general storage, computer storage, and electronic storage. And with 60 seconds, I can't go through there, it's like an invisible wall. But anyway, so you get like 60 seconds to like just grab stuff at random and then throw it into your pod. So um, then you just you got to drop stuff in here and then close the door. So you don't sometimes you don't know what's going to go wrong. So sometimes you're just going to fail. And then um, like with those rescue missions, like you'll know it's oh, dude, there's no air filter. So then you'll know like you got to go to like general storage or probably in this case hydraulics for it. But these uh, shells will be littered with stuff that you can pick up. So that's a good pro tip. Okay, let's go into the pod. This pod is a piece of junk, not worth any maintenance, but I don't make the rules. Anyway, I was supposed to reassemble the oxygen system. Could you do it for me? It's pretty straightforward. Okay. Yep, this is the one. As you can see, it's empty. All the components are behind you on the workbench. Just grab a couple so we can get started. And you can also hold two things at a time too, which is pretty cool. Although it's a little harder to see. Just put all the components back inside the oxygen system. Uh, you can't get it wrong. They all only fit in their respective spots. Um, I'll be right back. Jerry? Uh, you should be done by now. Just turn the oxygen system on using the on-off switch. Well done. Uh, now we just need to check if everything is working properly. Could you look at the monitor and switch to the error codes channel? Perfect. Um, now as you can see the oxygen bottle inside the system is empty. Could you swap it with the oxygen bottle located in the recycling station? That's the one. Uh, the recycling station converts carbon dioxide into oxygen. Pretty useful, eh? Anyway, just uh, replace the empty bottle with this full one and we'll be done. Alright, we're done. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, you can go back to your cleaning trolley. Wait, damn it! Are you still there? I'm detecting a leak in the pod. Could you uh, get the leak feeler? You might have to climb a bit. Uh, you can grab a handle with your free hand to get close. Once you get closer to the leak, just uh, aim at it and use the leak feeler to close it. Well done. I'm not detecting any leak anymore. Uh, we're all good. Thanks for your help. Anyway, I gotta go. This damn reactor is driving me crazy. This is what Jerry does all day? Wow. Yeah, you're literally a janitor. So, like, when you... Like, yeah, you're... You're basically just a noob, and uh, then like the pods are like broken too. So like survival in this game is a miracle if you happen to do it. Biohazard Nightwolf just upgraded to a hatchling. Yeah! Welcome to all the new members, and thanks to everybody dropping those big old member bombs in the chat. YouTube now has the uh, membership gifting uh, options so if anybody wants to drop one you can do so with the square dollar sign down below and help other people to be members yeah brother yeah 
Hashtag biohazard. Alright, let's go to vital needs. We'll go through the whole tutorial. I, I think the demo lets you go through the whole tutorial, so it gives you a little bit of um, stuff to do. So if, you're, if you want to test this out in VR before Jerry, you buy it, you can do that. Can you hear me? Sorry to bother you again, but I'm stuck in the ship's engine room, and I still don't have time to take care of that damn Medusa escape pod. You're going to have to get inside the pod again. That's what we look like? That's us. That's our little name tag. Jerry. Did I say lemon? No way. These tutorials are in the demo? Okay. We're going to check to see if the life support systems of the pod are working properly. I'm going to need you to turn them on one by one so we can check their values on their monitor. First, let's make sure that we have what we need to breathe properly, all right? I need you to find the oxygen system and to turn it on. You can't miss it. It's the top drawer with oxygen system written on it. So on Earth, at sea level, the atmospheric pressure is one bar and the oxygen level is around 20%. That's our target. As you can see, we're all good here and the value is green. But if the value turns red and drops below 16%, you'll find yourself in hypoxia. It's not a good thing, as you can imagine. The opposite is also true. Too much oxygen can also be deadly, so always keep an eye on these values. So, the pump inside the oxygen system diffuses the oxygen contained inside an O2 bottle into the air. I don't see any oxygen, what the hell? That guy's lying. Below the oxygen system, you'll find the carbon dioxide scrubber used to get rid of the excess of CO2. I need you to turn it on as well. Good. You have to be aware that too much CO2 in the air is just as deadly as not having enough oxygen. Your body breathes O2 in and exhales CO2. The value should never rise above 6% at one bar. Now let's check the pressure generator uh, just below the CO2 scrubber. Turn it on. So this system is here to maintain the atmospheric pressure at one bar by releasing or capturing nitrogen in the air. The pod cannot sustain more than 1.7 bar, so be careful with too high pressures. It's also important to remember that the required oxygen levels and the lethal levels of CO2 vary depending on pressure. Oh, we should have tried to raise the pressure to destroy the pot earlier. That would have been funny. All right, we're good for the atmospheric systems. Now let's turn the temperature system on. It must be getting quite cold in here. Wait a minute. You know, space is cold, but there is nothing there to efficiently transfer heat. I mean, sure, without heating you'll eventually freeze to death, but in a pod like this one, equipped with a hot atomic pile, you need some way to stay cool if you don't want to be cooked. The temperature system uses power to produce heat and liquid nitrogen to cool the air. I can tell you that cooling the air is very important when you're running the atomic pile at full power. Alright, you should be feeling warmer now. Uh, everything looks to be in order. Thanks for your help. You can go back to your work. And I have my own work to do to make sure our ship's reactor doesn't cook us all in the next few hours. See ya. A lot of foreshadowing on that reactor. Power management. Big brains. Can, chat, can you feel your brains getting bigger? We're learning. Cool to learn stuff about Earth's atmosphere and stuff, isn't it? Hey, Jerry. Uh, it's me again. I need your help with the pod. So I was installing a new atomic pile inside the pod, and guess what? So I'm going to cut the external power connection so... Wait, I wanted to hear the story. We can test the new atomic... Hold on, I wanted to hear what happened. Going in there triggered the next audio section.
hold, hold up. Yeah, the tutorial is hey, really Jerry. neat. Uh, it's me again. I need your help with the pod. So I was installing a new atomic pile inside the pod and guess what? I had to go back to the engine room of our ship because the reactor is acting up again. So could you get inside the pod? Okay. So I'm going to cut the external power connection so we can test the new atomic pile. It's going to get dark in here, but don't worry, we'll bring life back to that old 10k, alright? Alright, I need you to find the main reactor. It's located on the ceiling above the gravity generator. I need you to open it. Yep, you got it. Uh, now just turn it on, alright? Perfect. You shouldn't see much of a difference right away. It takes a moment for the atomic pile to warm up. The hotter it gets, the more power it produces. Do you see the ammeter below the generator? So the red needle indicates the energy produced by the pile, and the blue one indicates how much energy the active systems need to function. As you can see, it's above the red one. It means that the pile is currently not warm enough to produce all the required energy. Now, I'm going to remotely lock the pile temperature for some tests, but in normal circumstances, it's the processor plugged into the main generator that controls this temperature to provide the required amount of power. I guess I don't need to tell you what happens when it breaks down, huh? See, the pile temperature is stabilized and the needle is not moving anymore. Could you turn the main computer on so I can look at the system status? Damn it, I've locked the temperature too soon. And there isn't enough power. Could you, could you turn other systems off so we can save enough power to turn the main computer back on? Just keep an eye on the needles. You need to align them. Well, since this door is open, can't we just turn off oxygen and all the other stuff? Perfect. I'm getting the data. Thank you. Oh, if you ever have to operate an atomic pile, keep in mind that it's slow, capricious, and that it can get very, very hot. So uh, always make sure to protect your systems with a fuse and a transformer in case of overload. Anyway, it seems the new atomic pile is working fine. So that's it for me, and you can get back to your cleaning. Well, that was easy. That that was much more... They should have had you change a transformer or something. Or told... Well, alright. Maybe that's what this one will be for. Hey, Jerry. I know, I know. This is the last time, I swear. Just get back inside the pod. There is a problem with the oxygen system you reassembled earlier. I'm not saying it's your fault, but I need you to take a look at it for me, okay? Thanks again, man. You have no idea how much work it is to keep this escape pod in working order. Honestly, I, I would rather die than have to escape in this thing, even after a bunch of repairs. Anyway, the perfect. Oh. You should have the error list in front of you. The main computer usually translates the codes, but I had to take it offline for a while. I need you to find the pod operation manual. Everything you need to know about the pod is in it, including the error codes. So unfortunately, I can't really help you from here. So I'll let you browse the manual to find what the error codes mean. I'll let you grab the defective component once you figure out which one it is. Oh, and uh, do not forget to turn the system off before touching anything, all right? Uh, 
Uh, let's see, what was it? Two... Oh, it was, uh... Oh, it's still technically on because it's on the battery. Uh, I don't think there is anything wrong with this one. So just put it back inside the system and read the manual again to find the right one. Well, I wanted to... Okay. So unfortunately, I can't really help you from here. So I'll let you browse the manual to find what the error codes mean. I'll let you grab the defective component once you figure out which one it is. Oh, and uh, do not forget to turn the system off before touching anything, all right? I guess turning it off and having the battery connected still cuts the power from main and battery. Okay. So what will it say if we... Okay, so it is BEA. Okay. And that one was the... Problem with the transformer. Yeah, I had a feeling this transformer wasn't working properly. I need you to use the repair station to fix it. Ooh. Put the transformer inside it, and it will tell you how many spare parts are needed for repairs. That's cool. Do you see the numbers on the repair station? So the top screen indicates how many spare parts are required to fix the components, and the bottom one, how many you currently have. So we don't have enough. We need to dismantle something else to get more spare parts. Just take the transformer out of the repair station. All right, so let's dismantle a component we don't need. I think I left a monitor on the workbench. Uh, put it inside the repair station, close the door, and press the dismantle button. Well done. You now have enough spare parts to fix the transformer. You can throw the monitor away. It's dead now, anyway. Just put the transformer inside the repair station and press repair. Okay, so by dismantling it gives you a value number, but then it makes the thing stop working. So basically it's like each of these items has a value. Putting it in there gives you an, a number and you can repair. Oh, it doesn't make a noise or anything? Oh. It should sound like a like a coffee grinder or a Keurig or something. <laughs> yeah, more than meets the eye. You can now put the transformer back inside the oxygen system. Uh, make sure it's turned off first. All right. Uh, once you're done, you can turn it back off. Well done. You're really doing me a favor, so thank you. Uh, you can get back to your cleaning trolley, and I'm going to get back to work because this damn reactor is driving me mad. Jerry, the ship's cooling system just failed. Warning. The reactor, it's reactor going to blow. You need to grab evacuate as many components as you can in the storage rooms and evacuate right now. No matter Warning. what you do, do reactor not leave aboard that damn... Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Oops. Okay. Well, there we go. All right. So let's start with... Uh, well, one thing I want to peek at is looking at the Relay Station 9. I've never seen that before. Ooh. 
Well, this is much more complicated. Oh, nice. It's a much bigger station. But it looks like all the things are the same, though. Yep. Same components. Some of them look slightly different, though. That's cool. No windows or anything, though? Huh. I mean, just the one on the hatch. And here. Oh, that's cool. So we actually have a station to mess about with, too. A lot darker in here, though. Alright, let's start for real. I didn't know that they would actually uh, put a station in, but they did. All right, we all ready? All right, smash like if you're ready. One like equals one luck. We'll try to survive for six minutes and work our way down the list, chat. We begin for real. Let's go. Uh, rescue, maintain your beacon online for rescuers to find you and unlock new components and systems to f survive longer each time. Min402, welcome back as a raptor egg. Thanks again to everybody becoming members. Thanks for all the big O super chats today. Thanks for all the likes. Really supports the channel. It helps new people to find this and new games. So um, help them out in finding the channel and new games. And thanks to everybody dropping those member bombs in the chat too. You guys are awesome. Thanks for all the big O bombs this week. Woo! Let's go. Survive for six minutes. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna try to throw as many things in there as we can. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape point immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape point immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Go, go, go. Made it. All right, we got to survive for six minutes. Do a systems check. <laughs> Main computer doesn't even exist. Oh boy. 
Not cool. Nope, not cool. Where'd the pump go? There it is. Problem resolved. One minute, fifty one seconds. Oh yeah, hell yeah. First try. Minute 16 seconds. Dismantle the manual, can we do that? Actually, the dismantler doesn't even work. The dismantle it's the dismantler itself is dismantled. We need a button. Can I borrow that one? And uh, I don't know what goes there. I think it's the master caution buttons. Gary, oh. can you hear me? Yeah. It's me. I'm aboard the rescue ship. We're almost there. Just keep your beacon online a few more seconds so we don't lose you. Yay. We're going to bring you home, all right? Okay. Quickly, please. Oh no, did we die? Did, did we die? Yay, we did it. All right, cool. We got saved. Excellent. Now we've unlocked problems with the large battery. Min402 dropping a bomb on the chat. Gifting five memberships. Get those gift bombs in the chat. And if you received one for free from our good friend Min, make sure you go ahead and say thank you. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. Now let's go back to the main menu. We'll read what the next one is. 
All right, survive for 10 minutes. Oh, I guess it's the same scenario, just longer and a different problem. Okay, let's try to not die for 10 minutes now. Hold on. No, oh, you can't move right at the start. Okay. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Can you get a gifted membership? Yeah, if somebody, if, if more people drop gifted memberships in the chat, you gotta make sure you got it turned on. One's in the chat if you want one. You might have to be active in the chat as well. YouTube might might only give it to people who are like subscribers. I, I don't know how the, the whole system works yet. It's in beta, so it might be you have to be like a subscriber with uh, like active in the chat or something like that. At least that's what they are hinting at. Let's do a quick system check. Bottles at half. Half and half. The O2 system is not set up. But we have bottles now. Oh, that's true. Subscribing and turning on the notification bell and liking are free. That's true. Not sure what else we need to get this system working. Probably need a power transformer. Yep. Power connector. I need a button. I'm gonna borrow you. All right, boys, eight minutes. Some of these scenarios have you, like, do everything with one thing, like one button to turn everything on and off, which is hilarious. Yep, we're going to need to switch these out soon. Shoot another hoop? Okay. Okay. I think I could do that. Boop. Oh, you can't really throw. There's got to be a speed run for survive, but get as many hoops as you can. Right, let's see what else we got for equipment. We had another air filter. We should have a Master Caution coming shortly. Bottle's on red, but we'll just wait until it happens. Six minutes, 45 seconds to rescue. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, it's getting cold. Go outside and check the mailbox. You would say that, wouldn't you, Chad? The beacon sounds like the one from Sunshine. I think it's a, sh a nod to that movie, yeah. Alright, we're going to have a Master Caution shortly. No word on Master Splinter, though. Maybe he shows up later. shorted out our master caution. All right, let's change. Transferring though. Two minutes. Is there something I'm missing from here? Power connector? Oh, it's fuse? No, we've got the fuse. Does it have a pump? Good question. I didn't see a pump in there last time. Oh, yep, you're right. So this box needs a pump in it. Yep, okay, cool. I thought maybe the pump on this one was uh, inside a different subsystem within it. But it looks like this. Okay, so anything to do with any of the systems that have a gas transfer require a pump. Cool. 
minute 26. Oop, the, uh... The battery's dead, but... If it was pulling from the battery, it means it's not getting enough power, but yet since it's powered, it's good? That's strange. Hmm. Oh boy. Gonna get bumpy. Let's hold on. Holy crap. Congratulations, you got rescued. I sure did. Oh, I think each time you complete it, it kind of tells you like what the problem was supposed to be. All right, let's do 15 minutes. Now, I haven't done this one, so we'll probably die to death from here on out. So if you hate death and you hate restarts and you hate learning, it's time to hop out. Okay, let's go. Okay, battery time. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate. It begins. Alright, let's store the batteries. Welcome. Hey, person. Thanks for the 10 months. Yeah, if we if we leave the station without something that we needed, you know, like when we die, we'll just restart and grab whatever whatever we may have been missing. A lot of this game has to do with learning, too. About, like, dying and then learning from the death to figure out what you need. I always just go for batteries, because most things are... Just, it's mostly power failures, not mechanical failures. At least so far.
Yeah, just don't die, YouTuber. It's it's that easy. Like easy day one gamer. Hello, newborn baby. Okay. You want to be a gamer? Well, just don't die. Lightning means electricity, and you know what that means. You ready on that one? Sound still plays, but there's no fire left to put out. Do we get hit again? CO2. Can't get the damn monitor on. Alright, let's go again. Fuse was on fire. Oh, maybe it was damaged. Well, a fuse should still work, though. I think it still works and tells you that you have to change it. <laughs> Try planting more trees, yes. That'll work. We need about tree fitting. You know what that sounded like? That heavy breathing? That's like being in a Call of Duty uh, match. 
Like, hey, can I get some? Uh, I'll bring it. We'll bring a fuse this time. Kimbo batteries. Now I think what item the uh, electric the lightning hits is random each time. So it might not always be the same. We did have an extra fuse, so yeah, you guys are right. It probably wiped out the fuse then. Yes, the dismantler is also a repair station, yes. But it seems like the dismantler has been dismantlered. Yeah, well, I think what it is is they give you... Whatever you need to solve the problem is usually given to you, but, I mean, it doesn't hurt to have extras. Uh, do you want a tip on how to avoid getting everything fried? Yeah, I do. You just grill. You go charcoal, propane. Or like a pan seared. Pan sear is usually a pretty good option. Or I like uh, steamed, like with green beans and stuff. Usually I'll have like a, maybe like a eh, baked chicken with like baked, uh, maybe steamed asparagus or maybe broccoli. Usually good. But I like, I like green beans the best. Thanks, dude. Now you're hungry? You were hungry before. Wait, is the bar system not even? Oh god. Need that.
Oh my god. This is chat when I talk about pizza rolls. CO2. are burned out. We're fine. We're fine. Damn no! Damn it! No! Damn this game. The damn clicking. I'll oh, put the reactor back. Oh my god. This is fine. Put it back in there. Ah. Uh, sometimes <laughs> selecting stuff in this game is a pain in the ass. That's eh, fine. That'll, that, that's fine. P-A-O-N-E-4. Mm -hmm. 
Power connector is damaged. Bad buzzer. Large power connector. Shh. I don't have that. Bro. Okay. One's in the chat if you're stressed out. Me too. Okay, power's online. Something's wrong with the uh, oxygen. I can hear it. Or one of the systems. Seven minutes. What was MPAA again? Crap, where's the manual? The flashlight system in this game sucks. Don't give me limited flashlight. Let me use it unlimitedly. on this. Oh, the bad buzzer. Yeah, thank you. Oh, pow power works. Right, let me get all this crap out of my way. Can I restart the... Uh, I don't know if the uh, gravity generator was broken. I don't want to mess with anything. It seems to be working okay. Next thing we're going to have to do is change out oxygen and CO2. Dropping. CRT monitor broke. Why are we under 80 bar? Battery for CO2? Well, we're on main power, but yeah. You're right. Oh, sh...
Oh, that, oh, that fixed it. Perfect. <laughs> Is that the bad fuse? Visually, they both look broken. Okay, well, that's got to be fine if it's... Oh, wow. It, it was working. It just needed time to scrub. Uh, speaking of scrub, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. It just needed time to clear. The master warning won't go away, though. Two minutes, 57 seconds. Yeah, su subscribe to the channel. Breathability good. Pressure at 1. Nitrogen at 80. Oxygen falling. I could probably turn the gravity generator on, but... Honestly, we're so close to the end, I don't want to touch anything. All right, that's fine. It's just a little, so it's just a little electrical problem. We're fine. that blue that's a glitch all right chat are we going with the chef boy rd or are we going with the uh the progresso Should we go with the campbell's chunky from michael strahan's mom what do you guys want i'll just put the whole can in the mic i'll i'll just put both cans in the microwave that'll be fine Cream of mushroom. Chat wants the progresso. The hell? I'm opening the door. That's it. Get out of here. <sighs> I didn't realize we had those kinds of people in our chat. People who don't like ravioli. What the hell? Bro. Now nah, both are good. Jerry, can you hear me? Yes. It's me. I'm aboard the rescue ship. We're almost there. Just keep your beacon online a few more seconds so we don't lose you. We're going to bring you home, all right? I don't know how I did that, but I did it. Or did we die? Oh, I died because I put the ravioli in the microwave. Oops, my bad. Yay, we did it. Congratulations, you got rescued. Oh, it took me 18 out of 15 minutes, but power is offline. Yeah, when the when the power gets cut to the beacon, then the timer stops. So you got to always keep uh, keep that thing online, whether it's with a battery or with whether it's with main power. Dubs in the chat, boys. All right, the next one I think is 20 minutes. Oh, if you click continue or main, main menu, it brings you here. Great, now what's going to happen? I can't imagine anything worse than fire and losing gravity, because that was hell. 
Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. Batteries pay off. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Alright. This is uncharted territory. I don't know what to expect here. Welcome. You've got mail. to fix something with a large processor more than likely Did I unlock the battery charger? Um, all right. Well, we'll see. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, are we just passing through like a university s campus sector? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they just chilling. We're not producing enough power. Yep. I don't think the battery charger takes power unless you actually use it. Uh, what can we turn off? We're not making enough power. Gravity generator. Damn, still too much.
All right, that's the scenario. We got to manage power. Yeah, we can survive on only batteries. The main systems are going to... All right, we're going to have to... That's it. We're going to have to mitigate batteries. So we probably can use this. We're just going to need to, like, siphon from some systems to the other. Do I need nitrogen constantly running? Uh, yes. But we can turn that on and off to regulate. We just got to keep an eye on the, uh... This thing. Odd temp is increasing, so we're gonna have to just try to manage it. Try to keep it at 20, just turn it on and off. Clear. Hmm. Yeah, if Star Citizen or Elite Dangerous. Yeah, it'd be cool if you could if you had to repair systems like this in a in a game. Um, like for real though. Whoa! Look at that draw. Taking a hell of a lot of power. All right, things are going to get a little uncomfortable, but as long as we have oxygen and uh, CO2 taken care of, we're okay. I have to get that system working. We need to get that transfer system online. It's on battery, that's fine. Damn. That extends the power. For the, the time. I'm going to leave the battery here. Maybe I can just... Does that actually... Oh, it does pull. Okay. So if a battery's charged and installed, it's going to take power. I just don't want to pop a battery in there unless we're going to charge another battery. These are running, but they're pulling from the battery. Let's charge up as many as we can. So it's going to take away from the light, the uh, beacon. This is about managing that time. Going, but slowly. install batteries unless we need to. What's up, Blue Belt? Hi, chat. Good to see you all here. Thank you very much for uh, liking today's stream, too. It certainly uh, supports and helps the uh, algorithm to pro promote the channel so no p new people can find all these new games. So it's good to see you all here. Let's check temp. Probably getting spicy in here. No, we're good. Keep it close to 20.
Reactor's producing less power. Yeah, the reactor works when it's left open, yeah. We're good on power now. It's not enough, but it's it's like it's okay. Some of our batteries are getting damaged. No leaks. Okay. Maybe now. No. Oh. Now it's pretty, oh, it's fluctuating, that's why. It's on and off. Okay, so now the generator's making too much power. What's up, Polly? Welcome aboard. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Okay, we're getting low on oxygen. bad battery. We might not need to. We might be okay. Seven minutes. Only gonna get worse. Now. 
not now. Add fuse, maybe? Beacons out. Power's being produced, but the monitor's not working. First, we got to do CO2 scrubbing. The pump is out. Power transformer.
No, I can't repair anything. Okay, we're fine. That's gotta be a bad buzzer. Everything else looks good. Kill that for power. Tag five. <laughs> That's how much longer we gotta wait, chat. Gotta make sure this system's up and running. Check on that. Yep, yep, yep. I got it, I got it. I'm on it, I'm on it. All right, power seems to be normalizing. Get lights back on? Okay.
Wait, that's not... MPA... Oh! The power transformer! Gary? Can you hear me? Yes! It's me! I'm... I'm all... No! Damn it! <laughs> damn it! <laughs> oh, we were right there! Ah. Oh. I think the power transformer went out on that thing. Damn it, we were right there! Oh, man. <laughs> Damn it. We were right there. Oh, man. Got too hot, too spicy. Damn it. We were right there. Alright, let's do it again. I turned the thing on, but the, uh, it looks like the, the power transformer failed on the, uh, the thingy. Why did I turn almost everything off? Because the power is fluctuating. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. And if you watch the tutorial, the uh, the tutorial tells you that the ba the battery charging system in the game will take a lot more power than what that thing can produce. So if you do that, it'll cannibalize it from the other systems. Doing so is going to drain their batteries then, and then you're gonna have to charge more. So it could be a a death loop. Bro, we were right there. Was that I just saw it at the last second? Oh well. So definitely batteries, 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 batteries. But also a fuse, and maybe we'll get a transformer. Oh, there's nothing in here. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod what? immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Is there no reactor meltdown imminent? Oh, there we go. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod. Wait, what happens if we die? Let me see. Does it does anything happen? Cause of death. Oh, okay. I was, I was curious to see if there would be an animation for the space sh uh, station exploding, but I guess not. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. Is stuff random, or is it always in the same spot? This is not a drill. Actually, I, I, I kind of want to take a look around. See. Oh, no, it's always the same. Okay. Oh, there's some in here, too. Okay. Okay. Go, go, go. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to... Alright, so now we know what's up with this one. Dude, that is so cool when you, like... That's not even frustrating at all. Like, dying right at the end like that means that we had it. We were, like, we were in the zone. That was good. Good run. Uh, I think this goes in electronic. Where's high capacity? Okay, let's see. Is 
I'm gonna kill that one to save battery. Make sure our bar is set right. At 80. 80 for nitrogen plus one bar, okay. Take that battery for now. This thing has a battery too. Ooh, a large battery. Guess where that's going. Damn right. Well, it's pretty good that I was able to figure out what that was going to be right away. We figured out like that was going to be a power problem right away, but that's that's the one that got us right there, that damn power transformer right there. We can take one from the emergency lights. Take that battery too. Does the fire extinguisher cool the reactor? Um, yeah, I, I think you're going to need a little bit, something a little, little bigger than the uh, fire extinguisher for cooling off a nuclear reactor. Actually, since we're not going to use gravity, let's see if there's anything else I can use. Large processors times two. Power transformer, high capacity fuse. Okay, so this is definitely something we could use for the for the generator. Or yeah. Oh, let's cool things down a little bit. Monitors are all bad in here. They're all like turning on and off. Maybe it's a bad cable? I don't see any di display cable storage. Yep. Uh, this system should be able to pull from um, the main system. Well, let's check. We can check. Oh. The system's working, but the displays will only work with a battery? Which doesn't make sense for the reactor, though. Can't, pl can't plug a battery into the reactor. Where the hell is the damn... Uh, is there not a display cable on this thing? Whatever, we'll 
double check it later. again. Get this one charged for the long haul. So when we charge a battery, it cuts off other systems, which is why we... We need all those batteries. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Q1 Exotic, are you uh, are you trying to be cringe or are you just bad at jokes? Which one is it? You need to calm down. Being bad at jokes is my job, and if you're going to take my job, then you're going to be in here from uh, about 9, 9 a.m. to about 4 a.m. Starting today. First, first we get hit by the asteroids, then maybe some lightning. Just for fun. What was that? If that doesn't go up, we're okay.
the round monitor is broken. We're not going to know how long we have. This thing's broken too. All right. We have no idea how long we're going to be here now. Is it feasible to turn off the pressure generator? Yeah, you can. You can. That one's kind of more for like if there's a hole in the ship, but also it it takes up a lot of extra power to uh, keep that thing on. It just means there's a. I think that's a bad buzzer. No, 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 no. The hell? It's putting out power, so I don't know what the problem would be. You know how it is with a nuclear reactor, though. If you got a problem with it, you just turn it on and off again. Well, you know what I should do, though, is to. Whether or to know whether or not this thing is actually powered, let's at least put a display in there. Great. <laughs> well, if, if it says no data, then we know at least it's working. And so we'll keep the big battery on that bad boy. Damn it, I don't know how long... I have no idea how, we're, how long we're going to have to be here. This sucks. Everything seems fine. That's where the problem is. Where's the power fluctuation? Feels like we're in sandbox mode. Oh, there it is. I'm ready for you. Don't mess with me. Maybe you won't know I'm in here if I fog up the windows. Stay away, Zeus. I don't know where Hercules is. Stop asking. Looks like that's on the power connector for the uh, whatever that thing is. We need that. With the reactor off, the cooling isn't as important at the moment. Let's do oxygen. CO2. I'm on it. I know, I know.
do those arrows mean again? Bad buzzer. Oh, 4 bad. Bad electric pod. Is that the bad power transfer? No, the transfer one ends with the... Uh, oh, it might just be inefficient. Damn it. Increase bar. Oh, shit. That increase bar. Displays are not right. No one's glitching out. No, 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 you idiot. What the hell? No battery. That's fine. CO2. Oh, both those monitors are broken. Hold on. Be a bad processor. Maybe the processor got wiped. Battery low. Generator. Clear. Oxygen good. CO2 way too high. Nitrogen fine. Breathability low. Temperature fine. Can't get good data from this. Did the pump? the left one. Let's change the fuse. We got hit again by lightning, I think. <laughs> I changed the fuse with it on. Well, sometimes you're just desperate as hell.
Oh, it's a solar flare. Oh, it's gonna get really hot in here. It's gonna get hot in here. O2's fine, CO2's coming down, temperature way too hot. Can't really uh, do much about that. Power transformer about to burst. What? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, we were cooling, but how do we cool? How do we cool better? Yeah, time to open the nitrogen. Yeah, nitrogen canister. Hyperthermia means it was too hot, yeah. Alright, well, I couldn't really... I guess I couldn't really, uh, be blamed for that one. Ah, uh, yeah, we, we had the, uh, the life support system on for the nitrogen. That's what I put the, the battery in the whole time. Should have cracked the windows, yeah. Alright, let's do it again! Nope, oxygen and CO2 were just fine. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Wait a minute. Hold on. Go, 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 go! Immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Is there any more, uh... Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Alright, that'll do. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod I was looking for another power transformer. But there's not in... I didn't see any in the storage. Bom, bom, bom. Thanks again for all the uh, member bombs in the chat this week, and thanks for all the likes and support and awesomeness in the chat as well. Good, as always, to see our members here and our usuals as well. Good to have you all back. Super nice to get everything organized. Now, I've noticed there's two large uh, chips on the generator. It looks like heat's going to be the... R you think it's electricity, but it's actually heat. So the generator has a large power transformer. Maybe that's what goes bad. The, the error screen really doesn't tell us that, though. Where are the chips for this thing? Or is there not? Power connector. Transformer. ERT monitor. Buzzer. Huh. Bradford might know where the chips are. I bet he would. Oh, we may as well 
kill the gravity. Or at least use this battery. Hopefully the display... I don't know how close we were last time. We could have been like 10 seconds away. I don't know. Yeah, I didn't see a data cable or a processor for the reactor, yeah. Seventeen minutes, boys. It's good how challenging this game is, too. And what I like is that, um, you know, the external conditions that can take place, like the lightning storm or the, the ice or whatever. Kind of cool. Okay, so the cold, the extra cold like this. See, now, now we're floating, so that... Kills the uh, the reactor power. Okay, the cold's negative effect is that it fluctuates power because of that. That's what it is. So the generator is like struggling to keep us warm. It'll do it though. It'll do its job. Nice way to tell if things are running too is to look at the fans as well. Ah, uh, the gravity generator has a large processor though. And a data cable. Why does the CRT monitor go out on that, though? We do have two that we can replace, but it seems to be for later when they go... when they go crazy. Yeah, that, that monitor seems to be fine, but I don't know why it turns off. Does this change the power? I think it's only if you put a battery in. Okay. The charger seems to only affect the battery if it's turned on and has a battery in it. That should be able to be fine. Okay, so that's when you need it. Okay. I think most situations are going to be in zero gravity anyway, so you may as well get used to it. So it looks like charging the battery kills the timer unless there's a battery in the charger, uh, in the, uh, in the timer. Alright, so it looks like most systems overall took a hit on power. Let's get these switched out. So do the displays only work if they have like a backup power source installed? Caution. It's probably going to be on CO2 and oxygen. Clear. 
let's get these back up. Looks like the batteries can be damaged too during this electrical storm that'll happen. Yeah, we go into way too low power. Big ass ice storm out there. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to keep this thing on the whole time, too. I don't think there's any way to refill that nitrogen bottle at all. I don't see any way to do that. What does the battery do if everything's running? What does the reactor do if everything's running on batteries? Well, the reactor is running right now. And the reactor is running at a reduced capacity because it's so cold outside. The hotter the reactor is, the more electricity that it'll produce. So right now, since it's, like, super cold outside, it's it's, like colder in here or whatever. I don't know. It just, it just reduces the capacity. So the batteries are um, making up for what the reactor can't produce right now. So these should be a little lower. Yep. When the red and the blue arrows are on top of each other, that means we're producing as much as we're using. That, that's the ideal situation for both needles to touch. Take some big hits. Something got hit. So this will be the electrical storm. Yeah, this is VR. Yep, you can play this whole thing in VR if you want. taking out the pump. Uh-oh. Or the power connector. That's gonna work anymore.
Is Wilson still on board? I think he's good. Yep, he's good. deal with electricity again. Something here must be damaged. Really? A fire in the electrical compartment? Is it fine? No way. Let's make sure there's not a problem and try to sort it out now. Wow, we actually have gravity. What? After a fire, it still works? No way. Wow, okay. Well, that's fine. charger doesn't work. Power transformer and connector. Uh, wait, where is that? There it is. All right, here comes the storm. Oh, where'd that thing go? battery charger. Did that storm wipe out all batteries? Oh no. Wait. Just tripped the generator. that out there uh, that's totally weird what is that great generators offline I don't have anything to repair this thing oh it does have a large processor on it Right there. No way to recharge batteries.
need the generator so we don't freeze. High capacity fuse. Let's see if we can do that. Is that what it is, maybe? Yep. Turn colors. Okay, good. Okay, those are alright. This is okay. Oh, no. Ah. Yep. There. Three minutes. Alright, well, instead of getting hit by a solar flare, this time we got hit by a uh, another wave of meteorites, so that's good. Barely producing any power. Is every battery dead? Oh, the beacon. I need to get the beacon online. Now it's bad. I don't know if that thing's off or just producing like barely anything. It's over if we don't get the beacon online.
Everything we need for the reactor is under the high category. The fuse went out, we will place that. thing on is oxygen generator and CO2 generator. was the power converter or was the it was the power connector the high capacity one what the hell but then the the o2 generator and the co2 scrubber was out so what would be what would be the solution there did they both have bad fuses no way i gotta go again i'm going again baby all right if you hate learning if you hate doing better get out of here get out of here right now if you hate player development and you only love first try one and dones. Hop out. No place for you here. This is the learning zone. Get out of here. Get out. the big brain emotes remain good this is not a drill. now it's the big brain only zone <laughs> oh i hit the button it didn't register all right we need more batteries we need uh i want to at least try to find a f power converter fuse and then everything else should just be batteries i think Warning. So we just need those. I love the varieties on this. It's awesome. It's really cool. Oh, we gotta go. Yeah, fuse good. See how it goes. I mean, we could try to shut down. Uh, when the electrical st storm starts, we could shut everything off, but. We could try it. I think it'll still zap the power from the batteries, though. But if you look at these drawers before you play, you can kind of tell what they want you to go through. You know, like if you open all the drawers and all that's in there is like 400 fuses, you know there's going to be like fires and... Uh... 
Okay. Yeah, the uh, the random like start with the batteries and stuff is really cool, with you grabbing all the stuff. All right. Well, now we know pretty much everything that can go wrong. So the only the worst case scenario this time around is going to be like electrical fire, then solar flare. Oh, I forgot the uh, yellow just die. I gotta turn the power off on that one. I want to get another a fuse. I wasn't really happy with that start. We gotta get a high. We gotta get a high capacity fuse, high capacity power uh, connector, and maybe a. Um, actually, let's see where everything is in this damn map. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or so batteries in here. Okay, here's the high capacity fuses. We no need those. Regular co power connect. Okay, so everything everything is basically here. Pumps we don't really need. So not this one. It's just random. Nothing from here. And nothing from here. Okay, so it's all going to be that first room. Or the electronics room. Uh, the red tubes on the wall, uh, those might be filters for the air and CO2, or for the CO2, scrubber. Much better setup. All right, I'm happy with that one. Let's go. All right, boys, this is the one Pinto Bless Wall in the chat. 13 billion likes. Let's go. Let's get a big dub in. This this level's the best. I like this one. All right, let's get cleaned up. We'll cannibalize that reactor. Or the uh, not the reactor, but the uh, generate the gravity generator for the reactor. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. This one's for all the uh, friends who dropped some big O super chats. Who smashed the like, who never stopped believing that Santa Claus was real. There's some of you out there, I'm sure. Uh oh. You can see what they gave us this time around. Okay. That's concerning that they gave us that stuff. Okay. And not a lot of fuses, so we're not going to be doing a lot of electricity this time, maybe. But if we do, it'll be with the high capacity. So maybe we won't cannibalize the generator after all. I want that big battery, though, for this one. You know, it's funny. This one says large battery, and this one says large battery, but it's yellow. I just assume that... That one's just better? I don't know. Alright, gravity generator doesn't get backup power. But it can run. The battery's gotta go in that beacon all the time. Oh uh, yes, we used in the last run. That's that's what we did. Is we used stuff from the gravity generator. I just didn't really know what components it had until the last uh, until the last couple of seconds. And I 
I thought that I think everything in this capsule runs on the regular connectors and regular fuse. The only thing that's high capacity, I think, is the gravity generator and the main generator. That's it. Everything else should be on low capacity. Or regular capacity. Hi from Dublin, what's up? Good to see you, welcome. Wait, what's 2NOA? Oh, that might now be because they're not getting enough power because of the, uh, the cold. U-N-O-A. On battery. Oh, okay. It's not really an error. It's more of a system status. Yeah, so it gets really, really cold and drains our batteries. We're just gonna hang out. We're just gonna hang out. We're just gonna let the uh, the storm pass. We're passing through uh, the atmosphere of planet Canada right now. It's summer, so it's negative three billion Celsius. We actually owe warmth to the bank. Yeah, gravity seems to be the first thing to go whenever the power is, like, cut. And the uh, beacon, too. Although, that seems to still be functioning. That shouldn't take power from the battery unless it can't function at all. It, it shouldn't be... It shouldn't be taking any battery power. Total Destroyer, thanks for the two months. Thanks for playing some of the uh, unheard of wish heard of games. If it wasn't for you, I would miss some of the games. Well, thank you, dude. Yep, that's why it's nice that everybody smashes like and subscribes and helps the channel to grow. Some games out there you're just not going to find unless you hear it through word of mouth. Let's uh, let's cut that off for a little bit. We don't really need cooling. We got cooling around us. Your battery. If we charge that, if we charge any of these batteries, it's going to cut the main power from any of these other systems, which means that their batteries are going to be lesser and lesser. They're going to need to be charged even... even faster. Can they function at all? They can still function, but they're on reduced capacity. Okay. I'll just put a battery in there to hold it. All right, so these boys can still function. What? That doesn't make sense. Why why do the emergency lights battery strain? Maybe it's just because it's so cold it hurts the batteries? Wait. The emergency light system should be on, but it shouldn't actually, like, use battery unless it kicks in. Hmm. Because if, if this system is off and not using power, and this system's on and not using power, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
That'll go back up. Just gonna go up a lot slower because they're on like low power. It sucks, but it's working. All right, what's gonna be next, boys? Oh, good, the ice storm's over. All right, charge batteries. Stand by, clear. going to be damaged. It's going to be a fuse or transformer or something. Oh, baby. Does the cold reduce battery capacity? I'm not sure, but it could be like a... It could be a thing, maybe, but I feel like we would be dead before... It, it would have to be cold enough to kill us before that happened. Oh, boy. Was that a fire? boys. Hold the line. Uh-oh, that damaged the battery. Okay, let's cool off a little bit. So it looks like each of the buzzers are different for the systems, too, if you take a buzzer from one system and put it in another. It'll change the tone. That's kind of cool. That's an interesting little detail. Uh, the rescue beacon has no battery, yes. I'm, I'm basically getting ready to put batteries wherever they gotta go. I don't want any of the batteries to get fried, so we're going to wait until, except for this system. But next has got to be the electrical storm. Levi with the big O20. Thank you, dude, for the big O support. And thank you to everybody for those member bombs today, too. One's in the chat if you want to get yourself a membership. Lots of cool emotes and stuff, so if you haven't yet uh, subscribed, I think you at least have to be subbed to a channel to get a membership. And we're having a giveaway today on the Discord, too. So 
If you like free, if you like games, and if you like free stuff, link in the description to join the Discord. Hashtag Levi in the chat. Show him some love. Thank you very much. Here's some dough for the barbecue when summertime hits and your AC goes out with your X299 Intel rig. Oof, I don't know if I'm going to need an AC or if I'm going to need a heater, depending on what happens here. We'll see. We're pulling 13 kilowatt hours right now. Let's check our systems real quick. Okay, let's do a quick bottle change. Do bottle service. All right, now is where everything's got to go wrong. Bring on the lightning. Come on, Zeus, let's go. That battery's toast. Come on, baby, bring it to me. Let's go. Uh, we can't dismantle batteries. The dismantler is, like, not assembled. We have to assemble the dismantler. Come on, bring me the lightning. There it is. I'm ready for you, bro. Let's go. Now we'll leave the lights on. Worst case scenario, I'll just, if we lose lights, I'll just throw a battery in. Hit me. Come on, hit me. I don't hear any fire. Here we start reactor. Countdown timers reactivated. Good. Five minutes. You could hit us again. Those numbers up. Yo, Steppenwolf, thanks for the 10. Hippies. Yes, hippies indeed. We have to keep some of this stuff on. We can't go completely to zero. Ah, one FPS. Okay. Okay, we got to get a power connector back for the... Uh... Is there more fire? Oh, there is. Two power connectors needed. Okay, so when we get hit by lightning, it looks like it trips the reactor every time. Okay, let's get those power connectors back online. No, no, not batteries. We got one. Going for this. Uh oh. Battery? Okay, we'll just use the battery. No, not that. Not that. Yeah. <laughs> 
Is the reactor down? Fuse looks okay. Could be the power connector. Reactor is off. Reactor's online, but it reduced capacity. But the beacon's on. Two minutes. Yeah, divert all power to the McDonald's ice cream machine. Make sure these have power no matter what. No, they're okay. Okay. We're lousy with batteries right now. Lousy. Can I get the lights back on? Generators nominal. Oxygen's fine, CO2 is good, filter is cleaned, getting a little low, but we should be able to last less than a minute. No, we basically had it that first time with the uh, with the cooling system like coming online, but it was just too little, too late with that extra s spicy sun out there. I wonder huh, what's the easiest way to cool down the capsule from the solar flare. Terry, you... can you hear me? It's me. I'm aboard a rescue ship. Yeah, you uh, are. We're almost there. Just keep your beacon online a few more seconds so we don't lose you. We're gonna bring you home. All right. Turning off the reactor cools the capsule. Well, yeah, but when you're like flying into the sun, what do you got to do? Roll the window down too? Ooh, hey, only a minute and 41 seconds extra for the uh, power outage. Short time. So the last one is to survive 30 minutes. 30 minutes of hell. Oh my God. What are the, um, wait, what's ranking? Oh, cool. There's a long time survival. Wait, what's party game? Let a friend help you. What? Chat, we could have played this the whole time? Party mode. Let a friend help you out with the PDF version of the pod manual. Error codes are left encrypted and the manual is gone from the pod. You can find it in your library or Steam store page. Oh, that's cool. But I feel like I'd be able to figure out most errors myself. A lot of the errors don't seem to have to do with, uh, you know, like, error messages. Oftentimes it seems like it's good enough to just, like, open a drawer and see what's wrong. Although I guess if you're getting, like, six notifications at the main computer, it'd be good to know what those are. Aim for the longest survival time and beat the community in the horrifying and hardcore version of Tin Can. Yeah, that's, that's scary stuff. 
So there's a survival mode. Survive as long as you can. There's training mode, launch, and leaderboards. Party mode. Then there's challenges. There's one, there's one where you only get one button to turn everything off and on. One where it's like everything on fire. What's no touching? Oh, you can't touch anything in the game? Opened window. Murphy's Law, cold start. Wait, I need to know the rules for some of these. Oh, come on, tell us what it means before we load in. I want to know what the special scenario is. Those are cool. Like, the special scenarios are really cool. Let me just, let me just run into it and see what it says. Oh, there's, like, no different information? Oh. So it's just, it's the same thing, but just different. Oh, here we go. Asteroid field detected collision imminent. Oh, okay. So that's the bonus for that one. So this is more like the, hey, regular survival mode, but also asteroids the entire time. So that's what that's like. Okay. So the challenge mode is the rescue mode, except instead of trying to survive a certain amount of time, it's more like... Well, you probably still have to survive, like, maybe 30 minutes, but you have to put up with 30 minutes of one button, one with fire, maybe one where you don't know the time. One where you have to worry about the nitrogen and the, uh, the pressure thing. Asteroids. Pressure again. <sighs> maybe continuously dealing with, the uh, power problems or something? Or not, yeah, like, um... Uh, the processor and stuff. That's badass, dude. I like that. Let's see what the leaderboard is. Who's got the highest... Who's got the highest score? And let's see what the number is. Will I do party mode with another streamer? Um... Well, I don't think the other per... I don't think it'd be interesting for the other person. Would it? Dr. Broccoli, 10 deaths. Cause of death, electrocution. Pod condition, 24%. Damn. Oh. That's interesting. The, the, the Wait, does, doesn't that mean you can't go on forever then? If your pod condition's at 24%, is that from, like, asteroids and stuff? Or is that from, like, the barometric pressure? Five hours. Imagine that. Playing this game for five hours and not dying, that's, that's pretty good. That's a lot of putting up with crap. Um, yeah, let me see that party mode for a second. Let's see what that's all about. So the, so the PDF for this is on Steam. So everybody open up Steam and go to... I don't know where it is. I guess it'd probably be under the uh, maybe the community tab or something. I don't I don't see it on the main page. But anyway, it says, "Let a friend help you out with the PDF version of the pod manual. Error codes are left encrypted, and the manual's gone from the pod. You can find it in your library or Steam store page. So it's got to be there for some reason. Yeah, five hours. I know. So that's five hours of putting out fires and then low power." Like, every one of those situations, if you go into the sandbox mode, you can simulate those situations, too. So, if you, if you really, if you have a lot of trouble going through, like, the nebula or something, like, the, the electrical storm thing, you can simulate that by going to, um, into the, um, into the sandbox mode. Isn't that weird to see the computer? Uh, there's literally the book. That wasn't... What? Wait, how do you do party mode? The book's right there. It said it was supposed to be gone. Yo! Dropping some bombs in the chat. Everybody watching. Deppin Wolf just gifted five memberships. So five of you lucky folks say thank you to Steppenwolf for dropping a member bomb in the chat. Thank you very much, dude, for the support. 
In order to claim those, by the way, I think you got to be active in chat, so subscribe, turn on the notification bell, put a one in the chat, all good stuff. Party game. Did I not have it turned on? Maybe I, maybe I just didn't have it turned on. Party mode was on this time. Yes, and put those gift bombs in the chat, everybody. Gift bombs in the chat. What? The book's still here with all the codes. Or maybe the codes are just different. Except that goes against what they said. This is supposed to be gone and all these codes should be... Anyway, they really should do like a ground control version where like you gotta, where you gotta, oh, this would be perfect multiplayer. Like, like two people in the pod and then two people like, you know, going through like different problems and stuff. This does make me want to play like keep talking and nobody explodes with Jerry. Right side of the store page view is manual is the PDF. Okay. But I can't seem to get it to work when I click party game and then launch game. Or are you supposed to do ranking training? Let me try that. Maybe it's only the ranking training part. But imagine if you did a five hour, like if you got the world record in party mode where a friend is like mo moving through all that stuff. What? There's the manual again. I guess you're either on the honor system or these codes are just invalid. I think what they should do is just rip out these pages. Hmm. Alright, let's go to the sandbox because I want to try to do one of the emergencies. Let's try to simulate the um, the solar flare. Let's see how that how that works. So in the upper right so if you pause sandbox the events in the game are asteroid fields, ice nebulas, electric nebulas, red giant, and a black hole. Let's see what that what that's like. That affects pressure. But it's fine with the pressure system on. Okay. Star detected temperature rising. Oh, it doesn't show, like, out the window. Oh. Wait, what happens if we, like, turn the system off? It doesn't seem to be getting that hotter that quickly. That seems like that could just be from the generator being at full capacity with everything being on. Huh. Oh wait, there it goes. Wait, so what are we supposed to do to fix that?
I guess the event has to... Oh, what the hell? Oh, wow, look at that. another hole there how are you supposed to get past that one then that was just the testing mode too we uh, open up the n liquid nitrogen bottle are you supposed to just like open the door and like would, is it would opening the airlock actually help you to like survive that opening the airlock will lower both air pressure and temperature yeah but is that is that gonna be enough because I feel like you know if you're passing by the sun in a capsule, if you roll the window down or open a door, is that, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it just doesn't feel like that's the solution even, like, in the game. Even though it literally says that. I mean, that's just like, oh, dude, it's really hot in here. Oh, just get out of the sun. Just, like, go sit. The oh, like, there'll be a window coming through the... You know, like the light coming through the window, it's just like, oh, just go sit in the shade, dude. Sh go, go sit in the shady part of the capsule. <laughs> what an awesome game, dude. All right, guys, that's about all the time we have here for Tin Can. In space, tech support can't hear you scream. But uh, I guess technically a multiplayer game then, because you could put it in party mode and have a friend work through the manual with you, although I couldn't figure that part out. But look at all today, all we did was like got through the first uh, five scenarios. Or actually... Yeah, we got to do the last two. So we're on scenario five out of six. So five and six. And then there's a scenario editor. So there's a whole tutorial. Spend some time reading the book. There's six rescue scenarios plus another like six to eight uh, new challenges plus a ranking system an endless mode and a sandbox mode where you can practice everything. Not to mention you can also do it in the relay station. And since they have a relay station, I'm assuming that they're probably going to be adding more stuff to the game. If they have just the drop pod, then they probably are also going to add more... Uh, you know, if they have the relay station, then maybe maybe they'll add multiplayer one day. Maybe they'll add bigger stations and more more things to manage rather than just, like, oxygen, CO2. Maybe there'll be something to do with, like, solar panels or something. Maybe you'll, you'll have to, like, manage, um, you know, like, power fluctuations from that. But anyway, I'll see you guys a little bit later today for a city builder that I know you guys will love. That has both a DLC and an update out today. And it's probably one of the most realistic ones I've ever played. Seriously, it's crazy. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for being here. We'll uh, probably come back and play, like, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes then. Because uh, I really enjoyed this, so we'll go play that. But anyway, Tin Can is on sale now on Steam if you want to grab it. Lots of fun. Lots of challenge. Lots of nightmares. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you later today. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Take care. Dino Man out. Thanks for all the big O super chats. Thank you very much, everybody, for subscribing. Make sure you check the channel for our live stream later today, and I'll see you soon.